morning guys how are we all doing today on this fine monday morning i say fine it is fine guys it's gray it's wet it's windy but when the world deals you a gray day you've got to focus on the positives and make it a gorgeous gorgeous day it's the start of the week it's the first day of the week brand new week of 2017 it's time to get focused and positive Saying that, today's not started out that great. It's just before lunchtime, it's like 11.30. Sarah and I spent most of the night up last night. Sarah is super, super poorly, guys. She's not well at all. She basically spent the whole night up coughing, like ridiculously coughing and congested, couldn't breathe, couldn't sleep, she had a fever. She's just not well, guys. This flu thing, whatever she's got at the minute, it is hitting her hard. So, we've kind of spent the morning, after the school run, just sorting a few things out. I had a lot of emails to reply to, I had a lot of things to do, kind of, behind the scenes and whatnot, and look after Sarah. She's currently residing in the bath, enjoying one of her new lush bath bombs as we speak right now. She's had like the worst migraine all morning, so I've just kind of been letting her just chill and hopefully get rid of that. I'm hoping this bath is going to do that for her. So, to try and cheer her up, I've nipped out to our favourite sandwich shop. I'm going to pick us up some nice lunch, I'm going to take it back for her, hopefully make her feel a lot better. But yeah guys, she's not been good at all. However, focusing on the positives of the day, today's a cool day. I'm not at work right now. I'm not on a day off. I do start work later on tonight at 7, but it's a very, very cheeky short shift today. 7 till midnight, boom, done. Not too bad. The type of shifts I actually really, really like because I can take with me my work to work and I can do it there. It's very, very quiet usually on a night time. Not a lot happens. I can get stuff done and I can still spend the full day making sure Sarah and the girls are okay before I go to work. So I kind of really like these shifts when, they, when I get them, which is kind of rare-ish. But yeah, so I'm on a seven till midnight tonight, which I'm not too i'm not too bothered about that's all good it's been super lovely in our house this morning though despite all of that despite not having much sleep i mean i can run on no sleep so i'm all good anyway but yeah the girls have just been absolutely lovely this morning it was such a lovely morning getting ready for school after us telling the girls last night about the fact that we're going to florida after the summer later this year for three weeks we're going to go on a nice family holiday if you missed it yesterday we surprised the girls last night in one of our favorite restaurants the fact that we're going away to america later in this year to florida for three weeks for a nice holiday we were there for our honeymoon in 2015 and the girls had the best time ever literally they have come back with the best memories ever some of the best memories i'll probably ever make when we went to america they still talk about it and watch our old videos of america back now so they're so excited for that and if you didn't see it guys i'll link it in the description box below go give it a watch check it out it was really super cute but yeah our morning this morning has been really really sweet because the girls have just literally wanted to talk non-stop about what we're going to do in america what the plan is how we're getting there where we're flying from and all this stuff and it's been so lovely actually just sitting down and talking to them about it this morning and being excited with them and seeing their little faces so so excited they love traveling they love going away they love it all and they especially love florida and it's been lovely this morning just talking about that we've been watching some youtube videos on the resort that we're staying at and they've just been getting so so excited and it's just been lovely we've sent them off to school this morning with a big smile on their faces we're ready to love the day and that was really really nice right now i am starving i'm hoping this is going to sort sarah out right because this is her favorite sandwich shop ever it's her favorite sandwich ever let's go get some sandwiches I actually forgot to mention them guys, this isn't the most healthy of sandwich lunch choices but it is super super tasty and when you're poorly it's all about the taste. The healthiness goes out the window, it's all about the taste. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Mind you guys if you could only smell what I can smell right now. Whew! They're quite big these sandwiches, I'm not even going to tell you what's in them <laughs> because it's bad. Maybe I'll show you when we get home. Let's go surprise Sarah. Babe? 
I'm home. Got you a surprise. <coughs> oh, feeling super bad. Got you a little cheeky lunch. I won't put you on camera just now, darling. That's okay. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. This is what the face of Sarah looks like when she's not slept <coughs> a single wink all night. Oh, man. And she's not stopped coughing for at least 12 hours. You doing all right? Hey? Yeah. You doing all right after your bath? Is your headache gone? No. Literally, when I cough, my head and ears feel like they're going to explode. We'll sort you out. Cup of tea with a sandwich. Yeah. Hey? I've got you your favourite. Should we tell them what it is? Yeah. <laughs> it might be better if I just show you guys. <coughs> Told you. It's bad. It's super yummy. Super yummy, but it's super bad. <laughs> Let's do a surprise reveal of the butty, the lunch butty. The lunch buddy from heaven. Oh, oh. All right, guys, massive sandwich shop fail. I clearly ordered. It even says chip, cheese and salad cream, butty on the bag. Where's the butty? <laughs> There's just chips, cheese and salad cream. Massive surprise sandwich fail. Back to the sandwich shop it is. Man. Right, see you back here in 15 minutes. Okay, lunchtime surprise fixed. We're ready for the reveal, guys. It's, it's very, so very bad. nice. Ba -ba Chips, cheese, and salad cream. Lots oh, of salad cream. So yummy. She literally just filled it with salad cream again, like badly filled it. Did she? So. Sometimes they put so much salad cream on it burns your throat. It actually makes it spicy, doesn't it? Yeah. I've not gone for the same today. Ten-ish years ago, whenever Sarah and I first got together and we first moved into a house together, Sarah went to a cafe one time and bought this particular sandwich. And at the time I was like, ew, that is gross. No way I'm eating that. Anyway, she persuaded me to. And I've never looked back since. It's so good. You ready? If you've not tried it before, go try it. Dun, dun, dun. A spam and brown sauce <laughs> flat cake. You're such a hillbilly. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I know what you're thinking, guys. But trust me, go and try it. There's no other taste like it. You want to go for a walk, Prinny? Should we go get the girls and go for a walk? You want to go get the girls and go for a big walk? Yeah. You got your harness on. Good girl. Should we go get the girls then? Should we go get in the car? I've just picked up my munchkins from school. Yeah. Yeah. Who wants to go home? Me. Me. Wanna go home? Yeah. Oh, who wants to go to the skate park with our scooters that are in the car right now? I'm pretty. Yeah, yeah. yeah babe. But do I have my frozen scooter? No, your Minnie Mouse one. Your proper um. scooter. Yeah? Specs, let's go. Woo! Good girl, Esme. It's such a grey day today, guys. It's like foggy, and it's just such a grey day. I feel like it's going to get super, super foggy tonight when it gets dark. And look, check out that sky. It's just one of them days where you kind of wake up and you just don't want to leave your house. You want to spend the full day just watching movies, snuggled up in a big duvet, and not even getting dressed. That's the kind of day it is today. But not us. It's rained, it's soaking wet, and we're down at the skate park. We're down at the skate park, we're letting the girls go crazy on the scooters. Mum's got a super, super bad migraine, so we've left her asleep. She fell asleep just before I came to pick the girls up, and we're leaving her to sleep it off. So we're gonna come to the skate park for a bit, give the girls a big run on the scooters, I might even have a go on my blades, even though it's really wet and you can't blade when it's wet. You're not meant to blade when it's wet anyway because it's super, super slippy. I might have a little go. I can't come to the skate park and not be tempted to have a little go. Okay, let's 
no easy. Okay. I might fall. It's very slippy. It'll and be hilarious. Because it's wet. Let's do it. Careful, Ali. We still got this even in the slippy wet. So we've just rocked up to our local hair salon because Isabel has a hair appointment. She's going to get her hair done. And we're getting a small amount of that power. About that much? Yeah. So guys, take a look at the sass. Because when we come out, it's going to be sass. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, babe. Let's do it. Woo! My long hair. Let's have a look then, babe. Do me a twirl. Woo! Nice and short. You look gorgeous. Are you happy? Yes. Good, let's go. We're just back home and this little dog is going straight in the bath. She is black, guys. She had so much fun running in the park today, but she needs a bath. We need our pretty back, don't we, darling? You're very dirty. We're gonna have a bath. We've got one clean Prinny. Good girl. You're so clean now. You're taking your black boots off. <laughs> Are you ready to get out now, baby? Good girl. we get you hair dried. Right guys, can I have a massive kiss? Because I've got to go to work now. Yeah. I love you guys. Love you. You have a wonderful yeah. evening. On your hair pads. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love you, little skeggs. Love you And Prinny Woo, are you chilling on Isabel's bed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love you too. See you later, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. And See you in a moment. And Davia. Yeah. You have fun with... You have fun with mum, okay? Yeah. And I'll see you when I'm back. Okay. Good girls. I love you guys. I'll see you in the morning for school, okay? Yeah. Love you guys. Thank you. It's time for me to head to work. I'm going to leave these guys in the very poorly hands of Sarah. I'll see you soon, guys. Okay, guys. It's around... I always do that. I start saying what time it is and then I realise I don't have a clue. It's 7pm and Chris just left for work, bless him, he's literally spent all day rallying around after me, who just succumbed to this horrible virus and decided I can't get ready, can't go out, I need to rest. I've been feeling so, so bad this last two weeks and kind of like I usually do, just ploughed through it, ignore it, push it to one side and just get on with my days and today I was just last night was rough I barely got any sleep and today I just thought you know what I'm not even doing my makeup today I'm not doing anything I got a bath this morning and I've literally spent all day sat on the sofa flitting between watching TV reading my book and closing my eyes because my book gave me a headache so <laughs> I've literally not done anything um, I'm hoping, hoping, hoping this is what my body needed. Just needed me to go slow down, take a break, have a rest, and then I will reward you tomorrow by letting go of this virus. That's the plan. That's what I'm hoping for. So as I said, it's just 7pm. I just sat and replied to a load of comments on our vlog that just went up this evening. Honestly, guys, if I'm ever feeling bad, I should just open our YouTube channel and look at all your comments because they give me the biggest smiles ever. In fact, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to read some out right now. 
Dotty says, oh my goodness, or oh, OMG, that food looks yummy. Wish we had a huckleberry here. They are so good. KTF, I had my book for over three weeks, don't worry about it. No, don't tell me that. <laughs> oh God, TTF pets, I'm going to America in the summer too. <gasps> How exciting. So, so excited for our trip. Alicia Divers. I had the book for a while as well, Sarah. I'm so sorry, it's quite a lot of you guys saying that you've had this book too, so I hope you're all feeling better. Debbie, I won't even try and pronounce your second name, but it starts with an N, and she put OMG, the intro is so cute, and two pink love hearts, thank you so much. We've had a great response to this, to our intro, and it makes us so happy, because it was something that we've been meaning to get around to doing since just before Christmas. We knew that after Vlogmas we wouldn't be able to use our Vlogmas intro anymore and so we're just so happy that you all like it. Um, Isabel wants to know, is Huckleberry only in Leeds? There's also one in Darlington and one in York. I think there's three. Um, Kayla, 2007, have they got cool Jojo bows? I have the same one. Oh, I didn't realise that they had different names. I just thought the rainbow, the pink. The rainbow one that they all have is the only one they have. So I hope that answers your question. Queen Patty, George, Isla is so cute and sweet. Thank you so much. That's another thing, actually. The girls have been so good today. They came in from school. Isla came straight in here and asked me if I wanted anything. My four-year-old. She's like, can I get you anything, mummy? So, <coughs> so cute. Esme came down when Chris went to work and asked me if she could clean the kitchen for me because the dinner things were still left on the table. She was like, can I clean the kitchen? And then you can tell daddy how much of a good girl I've been. Just adorable. Isabel's always asking me if I want her to make me a cup of tea. And they're all upstairs reading and doing homework and literally just being the best kids ever. Chris is off work for the next two days and I am so glad because we get to spend some fun time together tomorrow. I think we might go into Leeds and head to our sorting office as we have some mail to pick up from our PO box. We got a call the other day saying that we had a sack full. And so we're going to pick that up tomorrow, I think, and then just have a nice day together. Right, I finished this book today and it was awesome. I wasn't sure if I would be able to get into it, although, it is one of those books where you start reading and you don't want to put it down. But yeah, I finished it and there's a great twist at the end and I just really liked it. So if anybody is looking for a book to read, I would definitely recommend this one. And in fact, I should send this to one of you guys. Does anybody want this book? Let me know in the comments below if you're... I don't know if there's an age limit on this book actually. It's probably more geared towards an adult. If you're an adult and you would like this book and you live in the UK, because postage overseas is really expensive. But if you're an adult and you live in the UK and you want this book, comment down below and let me know and I will send it out to one of you if there's more than one that wants it. I'll <coughs> <coughs> comes free with a cough on the back too. Oh my goodness, Isla's fast asleep. In my bed. Isla? It's not bedtime yet, darling, are you tired? You can sleep if you want to. Okay, you see this basket? Yeah. This has in it all of my Lush Bath Bombs. Mm -hmm. And I have a bag here of bath bombs that need to go in that basket. You want to fill it up for me? Yeah. Thank you so much, Esme. Mm. How nice that looks now. Yeah. Oh, thank you. So I'm just leaving the airport. It is a little after 11. All the planes are in for the night, all safe and sound, bar two, which have diverted to other airports because of the fog. So that will cause a little bit of disruption in the morning for the guys that are working, so I'm kind of glad I'm not on the early shift. Sorry guys if you're watching. So I've just been chatting to Sarah, she is feeling rough. I feel really bad for her. 
I really hope that tonight she just has a really, really good sleep and she's just miraculously better in the morning. Got some exciting coming up tomorrow for you guys too. In the morning, I'm going to do something which you guys will be really, really excited about. I'm sure, but I'm not saying any more. You'll have to wait until tomorrow morning. Or until tomorrow night at six. You'll have to wait, but it's gonna be good. It's gonna be super exciting. Man, I'm so out of breath. And I'm walking down a hill, not up one. It's so foggy, guys, look at this. Looks so cool. In fact, it looks really eerie. Okay guys, the girls are all in bed and I am going that way too. I'm not sleeping great on a night because when I lay down I become blocked up and I have to breathe through my mouth and then when I breathe through my mouth I get a tickly throat which leads to a cough. So it's not great but I'm hoping after resting a lot today and hopefully I'll be able to get a good night's sleep this evening. So sorry that I've not been in the vlogs much today and that when I have been in the vlogs I've looked and sounded like this. Please pray for me that tomorrow I'm starting to feel much better and hopefully this virus will do one. It needs to do one. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to get my head down and get some rest but I hope you've all had an awesome day, whatever you've been up to and we will see you all again tomorrow. Good night. Good night.